DJIF. Accounting, this is Josh. Josh Meister, it's Halco. Oh, hi, Halco. I need those express reports by lunch, okay? Uh. So many of us can relate to that feeling of not quite fitting in, of kind of the coldness of a standard work environment and feeling less than or disconnected. And uh, they translated that really beautifully with the pacing, the space, the awkwardness. So when that final ending section came and the clown walked in, I burst out laughing. It was really unexpected and so well earned throughout the piece. And I loved uh, how that brought us to the very heartwarming ending. I thought that was beautiful. Um, and it, it is lovely to bring in a clown because clowns have that ability to bring humor a lot of the time out of the sadness or out of the awkwardness or fear. And it really did take the piss away from the modern workplace and add that sense of play into it. So I thought the performances were really good. To this anxiety of this man preparing for what he assumes will be a layoff meeting. And there's a lot of setup for this that leads us to this moment. A lot of foreshadowing. Um, the conversations with other employees. You have this ticking clock that is prevalent throughout, references of time throughout. The phone combo had all this foreboding tone to it and tonality to it. Um, the emotional support that we would see from the clown was even foreshadowed with the clown mug. And then you have this element of bringing this clown as this emotional support. He brings an element of comedy into the meeting that would have essentially been a very bleak meeting. He ended up, in turn, providing emotional support for all the employees. And the change in tone was refreshing um, after the downtrodden sort of looming tone that the rest of the piece uh, what had was prevailing throughout the rest of the piece. Surprisingly funny for a drama film, you know. Um, I like the clown. I thought the clown, the clown had me laughing, you know. And I think that was kind of the point. Um, I liked um, the actor, the main, the main, the main guy. I thought he killed it. I thought to bro did what was asked of him. Bro understood the assignment, if you will. Um, I liked the writing. I liked the concept. Um, it was great, all around great. Also, as somebody who works in the office, I definitely understand the feeling of like the corporate lingo. Like, great job, buddy. Like. Yeah, yeah, they captured that feeling good. Definitely get some office space vibes to it. Uh, just a great uh, cast of characters. Uh, you know, everyone sort of represents a, you know, a different sort of a quirk in a way. Um, yeah, just delightfully written. Uh, there's some good performances in there too. Um, the editing and that style really uh, lends itself to the, the the vibe of the the piece. I really liked what the filmmakers did with their camera angles in this, how they decided that they were going to edit it. Their cinematography was really good. Um, Josh's mug, the first time you see it, 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 that actually got me laughing out loud. And I think that everybody can relate to Josh and what it's like to be at a job like that. So I think that the story was interesting and it was creative. I love the performance of the lead, very expressive face. I also enjoyed the close-up shots of various props around the workspace, notably the clown mug and the post-it notes. The rest of the cast was quite good, too. Very believable office banter. Good location, and the storyline was quite clever. Cool twist at the end. Great direction, pace, and editing, too. 